G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist. Today I'm coming to you not with a review, but rather a feature of a brand new machine from those boffins at Moots of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Moots Cycles is often associated with being a little bit conservative with their bike designs, but the new Route ESC, ESC standing for Escape, is pretty insane. In a nutshell, if you enjoy riding your bike on long forgotten double track roads and tossing in some single track just for a good laugh, this bike could be the perfect machine for you. As Moots has implied with the naming of this bike, Escape, it is an escape ready drop bar machine with clearance for 2.4 inch mountain bike tires. In fact, these are 2.35 mountain bike tires by Maxxis, the icon on this bike at the very moment. About this time, there'll be some comments posted by the usual keyboard hero, Wankerfest trolls, who like to say things like, why don't you just go and get yourself a mountain bike already? Well, not everybody wants to buy a mountain bike, and in this day and age, there's heaps of choices, so you're free to choose and buy whatever you like. With that said, if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. Moots fits out the Route ESC frame with three bottle cage mounts, two in the usual places you'd expect on the down tube and seat tube, and a third mount beneath the down tube. This location isn't my favorite place for water bottles, but it's a useful spot if you carry a mix of emergency fluid and spares, like I do with this sweet bottle from dibsports.com. I will say I'm a little disappointed there's no top tube mount. Perhaps you can order this bike with it as an option, as I have grown to love that location for a top tube bag, etc. And naturally, this being a moot, the frame is constructed from titanium. Not counting the insanity of this frame, there is the titanium fork at the front of this bicycle. In the past, I've seen some seriously dodgy titanium forks that I would never trust my life with to ride. And outwardly, I'm not an engineer, it looks to be a masterpiece of welding and titanium construction, and it has several mounting options for goodies on the fork legs, if so inclined. Visually, this fork is a pretty tough bit of gear. Also visually is the new Trans Am finish, which is inspired by the race car liveries of the 1980s era Trans Am and IMSA race series. This finish is available on all Moots bikes, not just the Route ESC. Cabling for the fork runs externally and typically it would sit like that, but unfortunately I snapped the zip tie that holds the cable for the hydraulic front brake in place. There you go, there's a nice look at how the cable routing runs to the front brake. Important to note, this new bike by Moots does not replace in any way any of their route lineup. So this is the fourth bike to join the route lineup with this bike representing the madness end of the route's spectrum. Other points of interest, 44 millimeter head tube with a 73 millimeter English shredded bottom bracket, 30.9 millimeter seat post, and on the rear end, 148 millimeter boost spacing. Chain line is 52 millimeters, which limits the maximum chain ring size to 38 teeth. The Moots Route ESC is available in four sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. You have to see the geometry chart to figure out what size works for you. This is a size large with a 59 centimeter top tube. And this bike is designed in the spirit of mountain bike type designs we've seen lately. So a longer top tube, a shorter stem and that sort of thing. It's obviously geometry that's not for everybody. It's not my cup of tea, to be honest with you, but there's no denying that this bike looks like an absolute ton of fun to ride. The most unfortunate thing about this particular bike being in my presence is that it's too bloody big to ride. I really need the size medium, which features a 56 centimeter top tube. That almost brings me to my next point, but I will quickly talk about the spec, which is basically a mix of road, gravelly, and mountain bike parts. So at the front end of this bike, you've got the gravel bar by Envy, quite wide, quite flared. It's matched to an Envy stem and brake levers, shifter levers, etc., are the Shramforce ETAP units. 
wireless electronic shifting with hydraulic braking. Fantastic stuff, and I have a full review of the Force ETAP access group linked in the description below. You've also got a reverb access dropper seat post, and I believe this is the 100 millimeter version, so lots of fun for getting spicy off-road, etc. Next up is the mullet part of this bike, and it is the Eagle X01 access rear derailleur and that's paired up to a 10 to 50 cassette so quite a big gear range in fact 500 percent according to SRAM and on the complimenting drivetrain part of the bike you have a gorgeous crank set by White Industries of Petaluma California with matching bottom brackets oh I also need to mention the White Industries headset and in keeping with the Envy theme of the bike you've got Envy M525 wheels which are basically mountain bike wheels they are beautiful mega points of engagement, at least on the rear hubs, by Industry 9 of Asheville, North Carolina. And these are mountain bike tires. I mentioned earlier, Maxxis Icon 29er by 2.35 inches. Pretty crazy stuff. And there's still a good amount of clearance. And don't forget, 2.4 inches of tire clearance. Now, all of that rambling on about the parts specs and so on has finally brought to the point I was hoping to make. I can't ride this bike as I mentioned earlier, but one of my close mates in town here is bigger in stature than me and this bike should fit him pretty well. His name's Tom, so I think it's time for Tom to take the moods for a ride. I'll shoot video of him doing so. So let's get cracking. Hey folks, there's Tom. I think he looks pretty sharp on that bike. That's all right. Uh, so Tom, mate, what are your findings, even though it's just one ride, of the Moots Route Escape bicycle? It was fun. That's the first word that comes to mind. It was fun. Uh, I never felt like I couldn't just steamroll over anything. Like, it, these tires are ridiculous and really fun. If I had to log a complaint, it would be the front end, a little slow feeling, but steer it a little differently and it's fine. I wouldn't want to drill it in a group of this, but for going out by yourself or with, you know, like with you, with someone else, it's a perfect bike for that. And you took me on some stuff that I've been on and I felt like I could just cruise over any of that. And then you took me on some new stuff that I'd never been on and there was no hesitation on mine. It's like you could just pick whatever you want and go. Oh look, it's dog patrol time, just as I'm about to close off the video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to concentrate doing this? I hope you enjoy my features of this crazy new machine by Moots, the Moots Route ESC. Now sure, this bike is not going to be for everybody, but it might be for you, and it's definitely going to be for some riders like the cross boundaries on their bikes whether you like to do double track single track ultra wide mega wide crazy descents whatever this bike should be able to take care of you and more as always thank you for watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the gravel cyclist youtube channel for content such as this dogs jumping all over me product reviews ride experience videos and other madness as all of it is released to the channel I'll see you, hello, I'll see you, yes, and you too, in the next video, oh my gosh.